Hello, folks. Welcome again. My name is I am the one, the only Hobo Tom. You're watching the Hobo, and I don't know. Let's let's, let's see on my cell phone. Multiple girlfriends, I guess. I don't know. I have to figure that out yet. I guess the same is true about girlfriends as it is quarterbacks. <laughs> if you have two or three good ones, you really have none. Well, let's talk about... I'm just kind of laughing because I got pulled into the principal's office today, so... No one ever wants to go to the principal's office. But I'm not here to talk about that. I'm here to talk about some SmackDown. Um, this was a fun show. Just seemed really like a whole recap for you. What is it with his videos? Whenever I get make these videos, I always yawn. All right, and I should mark off what I did today too. I went to the banks. There, there. Now I'm doing this. I'm actually have to hobo do some work after this too. Yeah, yeah, that'll happen when this video's loading up, and I'll still get home in plenty of time for stuff. What's up about some SmackDown, though? Um, it was a weird show. It was a good show. It would just see very recap heavy. Shoot this. It's this stupid El Cheapo mic. Can't wait. Five days I order a new or Yeah. Four more days. No, five more days. Actually, probably on the 16th I'll order a new microphone. New lapel mic. Not quite the snowball I want, but it's better than this thing which has seen better days. Um, what was I? Oh yeah, that's right. Wrestling! Wrestle, wrestle. We'll get to that, by the way. Uh, the Undertaker came out semi, uh, then Sammy Zayn came out. Uh, there you go, Chuck Slim, for all his false talking back to the Undertaker. I have hours of darkness. Oh no, I, I can't do a good Sammy. I can't do, can't do an Undertaker. And I guess Shane's off from jury duty. Because I know that was the whole rumor why Shane hasn't been on TV. He had to serve his country in, in a civil fashion. I was on a jury once. Yes, they even put this guy, for some reason, was the foreperson of a jury at one time. Back for a while, I wish I would back on one. <laughs> Say, you're a jerk. You're a sleaze ball. We'll figure something out. But uh, the wrestling show start off proper with the Miz versus Andrade Cien Almas and the always lovely but very short and tiny Selena Vega. Uh, Shinsuke was there as guest commentator because remember, the Miz and Shinsuke have a match this 15th which I won't be doing a live stream for because I'm in the Hobo Punishment section of YouTube. But I will have a review for it. Oh, play, play. Ooh, ooh. Probably Monday morning. Yes. So Monday morning, expect a review from this guy, Hobo Tom, about how Clash of Champions was which was a non-pay-per-view event, I think, last year. So, A, the WWE is making progress. Uh, Shinsuke Nakamura, again, he was there. Guest commentary, I don't think he said much. The Miz, Miz is coming out to be that striker, not so much the wrestler now. A lot of classic Miz moves, uh, the short DDT, the yes kicks. Oh, he's missing the last one. Uh, he does the backbreaker, neckbreaker combo still. He's incorporated the knee plus, and I'll tell you what, he got pretty high with that, that knee to Andrade. That was pretty good. Andrade, he's tranquilo. He's magnifico, as always. Um, although, it was funny when Miz was doing his yes kicks, 
you could hear Selena Vega, no. So it'd be like, yes, no. Yes, no. Yes, no. That was pretty cool. Um, so you still can't hit that last kick, though. He has to learn how to do that. I tried to make for the old fly and launched himself out of the ring. As Lena Vega did get involved a little bit, the Miz did the baseball slide, which I'm good to see. He's opening up his repertoire a little bit. He's not going to do the the well, crazy flying Pope suicidos and and who knows what other flippy double rope moonsault. But it's good to see him take, I guess, some risk. Uh, what else? Uh, he threw Andrade into Shinsuke Nakamura. That, of course, and of course he he said, "Come on." To Shinsuke Nakamura. Don't grab the tiger by the tail. Although we'll see what happens. And talk about me a little bit about my, my, my Dr. Tom. But your kids is going to be on Thursday. Or you might get that Friday morning. We'll see what happens. Um, but... The Miz won DQ by DQ because Shinsuke Nakamura decides to Kinshasa him in the ring, knock him out. So Shinsuke stood tall, but the Miz won in a pretty good cheeseburger match. It's hard to say the Miz can do wrong. It was it was a dusty cheeseburger, baby, and then Miz's face is too pretty, but he has that damn pretty wife though. So he can be excused from cutting himself wide open and bleeding like a stuffed pig like we used to in my days back in the old AWA and NWA, baby. Uh, the next match uh, was Mandy Rose versus Nikki Cross. Mandy Rose. It was funny. Someone shouted, I love you, Mandy Rose! And I think you could hear it's like, right before they came back, oh, that's sweet. Whoa! Some of those losers got told that sweet by Mandy Rose. Wait a second. This is Hobo Tom here. I am an international YouTube person. I've announced my affection for Mandy Rose a couple times. Well, mainly the fact that I just want her to buy me a boat. But hey, that's still affection, though. I would take Mandy Rose fishing. And maybe even Boo Sonya Deville. Take her fishing, too. Maybe. Maybe. Um, that was kind of cool. And then she was ugly shaming Nikki Cross because there was a story. Uh, and I think what culture? Broke it where Nikki Cross did an interview. I'll tell you what, Nikki Cross is cute looking. Whoever calls Nikki Cross ugly gets booed. Oh, wait, that means Mandy Rose. Boo, Mandy Rose. Boo, Sonya Deville. I'll always boo Sonya Deville anyway, because she beat my princess, Kimberly. Uh, and Nikki just. just Alexa came out first, and she's just like, okay. After after the ugly shaming, boo, Mandy Rose. Alexa Bliss comes out, really? Motions to Nikki Cross. Nikki Cross just runs. She doesn't care about the tag title belt. She takes the tag title belt, jumps in the ring, starts to beat up Mandy Rose. Yes, a good old-fashioned motivated whooping. That's good. I like that. And also, it was should be noted that Nikki Cross was wearing delirious pants. <laughs> Princess Peach is a tramp. That's everyone's favorite delirious. One of my favorite wrestlers still delirious. As delirious as HDTV. <laughs> Sixty-four bit, still greatest rants in all of pro wrestling. You have to check it out. It's delirious and 
Frightmare, I think, versus the original Super Smash Brothers. Excellent. Russell, Russell! Yes, well, Russell, Russell. Wrestling! So that was always good to see. Um, eventually, Manny Rose gets a hold of herself. Great jack jacket choke. Um, eventually, then Nikki Cross gets out of that. Tries to go to the top rope for a splash. She's distracted by Boo Sonya Deville. So you know what happens when you distract Nikki Cross? Boo Sonya Deville. You get the bonk on the ring apron. Yes. Alexa Bliss pulled the feet out from Sonya De Boo Sonya Deville. Like every wrestler who falls off the apron, they always land on that apron face first. Bonk. So she got the bonk. Uh, eventually, uh, Nikki did try to go through the crossbody, did not hit. Mandy Rose, I don't know, did something. I was laughing seeing Mandy Rose got the, the bonk. And. Nikki Cross got the role of victory. Yes, yes, yes. Over Boo Mandy Rose. Because Nick gonna kill you. Nikki's gonna kill you. Nikki's gonna kill you. Nikki's gonna kill you. That's the channel I wanted to hear, but I don't know, stupid New Yorkers. CM Punk, CM Punk. Whatever. Uh, then there was uh, Ember Moon and Bailey promo. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, that match, it was just short. It's a ham sandwich of a match. Then again, Ember Moon and, and Bailey. You're, you're not the Bailey, I remember. She had like a, a voice. She didn't look angry Ember. Angry Embers. Cute Ember, too. And then Heavy Machinery came out. They wanted to take on some jobbers. You see, you see um, Tucker Knight making the shade for Otis. Otis just drinks it right out of the thing. He's a man. And then Heavy Machinery came out, took on Johnny Silver and Alex Heather, or whatever his name was. Two jobbers. Squash match, but because it was Heavy Machinery, and we actually haven't seen them in a while in a squash match, it was fun. Uh, Tucker Knight, very athletic. He does that high hip toss on the one guy. The other guy sold it like a million bucks. Credit to the jobbers for, for doing their job. Uh, then there was a splash in the corner, which is always fun. He's cut down a little bit. Um, Otis Dozovich has cut down a little bit of the antics on the Caterpillar. It's still a fun move, though. He just doesn't go. He just doesn't do all the crazy hip 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 shaking and gyrating. Well, he did that before to get in and started to take his foot off. Indeed. No, no mas, no mas. Uh, he hit the caterpillar. Then there was a, was a compactor. It was a fun, fun enough match. You know what was going to happen, but because they haven't shown, and they're actually trying to rebuild the heavy machinery, I'll say this is a ham sandwich. And that's mainly because they really haven't been featured a lot. And hey, if you're going to feature them, show them that they're powerful, you might as well be against, against Jobber 1, Jobber 2. At least it's not something they do last week. The week before. The week before that. What they're going to do next. So, it's different. It feels at least a little fresh. Uh, then there's Oh yeah, um, Alex. Oh, Alex. Alex Keating. I'm sorry, I can't read my own hand. But yeah, Alex Keating. And then the, the whole commentary desk without without uh, Renee Young. We're talking about like the facts of life or family family ties. That's it. So 
again, nostalgia is fun. Probably another reason I gave this a ham sandwich of a match. They reminded me of the TV shows of my youth. I like that. Then it says Shane and Kevin Owens promo. Shane gives KO a rough shirt and says, Here, you'll do the right thing, right? And I'll take away that fine. So here. Now it was an Eric Rowan promo and, and Roman uh, tried to jump him. Um, wow, I'll tell you what. This was kind of fun because one, there was a plant in the crowd because Rowan power bombed. Well, well, it starts off as a brawl. And of course, they go into the fans. They go through the fans. And you see this one guy, it's like, that's Tommaso Ciampa? That's a guy with a big beard. He looks somewhat fit, too. Wait a second. What's going to happen here? So they're brawling, brawling, brawling. Um, Rowan, every time Rowan tries to get back from the, 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 the ringside, away from the crowd, Ro Roman Reigns comes in, Superman punches him. Eventually, of course, security shows up, and we had a Sanjay Dot sighting. Sanjay Dot. Sanjay Dot. Sanjay Dot. Wait. Sabu. Oh. So Sanjay Dot was there. Um, he and some other um, Jabber McJobber show up. <laughs> Roman picked up said fan power bombed him over the barrier into everyone. Oh, I'm pretty sure he can't do that. I don't yeah, that was a plan. I would have got along with it though. And I'd hold myself up. I'd make it as easy as anything. I'd just say, Oh please God let them catch me. He's there. Oh, please, God, let them catch me. Oh, please, God, let them catch me. <laughs> I don't know what happened to him. He just was kind of like laying there and people were not even worried about him. Because what happened up at the stage, they were brawling up at the stage. They tried to separate Roman Reigns again. And <laughs> the Rowan of Destruction comes out, throws the Gib camera, the, the kind of Pole camera. I don't know the type. The, the Gib camera, jibe, jibe camera, whatever you call it. Threw that right into Roman Reigns' chest. And it's like, whoa! Stage destruction again! Assault again! Yes! Valencia! Yes, that's what we needed. Some good old fashioned violence, baby! But this is Death the Rose again, sweetheart! You gotta aim a higher for the head. So Roman Reigns can do that blade job and, and lose that smooth youngin's forehead and get something. Scott up. Even like a Triple H Scott up. Yeah. Not quite Abdullah the Butcher. No. That's a little too much. But just, just enough. Just enough to make him a man. Baby. Baby! Of course, I'm wearing my Bullet Club shirt. I have to say, baby! The right way. Then we had a Bailey versus Ember Moon match. Poor Ember. I feel bad because she has all the talent in the world. And this match, it was good. It was just short. Uh, Ember, gotten, Ember Moon got most of the offense. I mean, she had the second rope splash, which always looks good. She seems a lot more athletic than Bailey. Um, and she just looked good in, until the, 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 the Bailey to belly suplex finisher. God, why is that a finisher? Oh. So, yeah, Bailey had the Bailey to belly. Could have gone longer. Ember Moon just has all the talent, though. And Bailey, even though she's role model Bailey, it's just 
not there. So overall, I mean, this was a ham sandwich of a match. And then Charlotte was there as guest commentator. She's all dolled up. I don't know. Something, something doesn't look right about Charlotte. You can say, hey, it just might be me. It might not be me, though. You can always remember, you can always leave your opinion good about email or commenting because I'm going to check those emails probably tomorrow. And I'm going to get down that last final list and I'll have Dr. Tom do a whole bunch of video dedications. And then it was a Kofi Kingston promo. Um, you see him backstage. You see moments of him putting Randy Orton through a table. Why that would be in the frame picture, who knows? Uh, Kofi starts talking to you. You're stupid. You're like, huh? Stupid. 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 So Randy Orton, they started to curse. And whatever he said wasn't good because they actually had to beep it. They had a blanket out. Good good for you, Randy Orton. I like cursing Orton is best Orton. Um, and of course, it's a beat-up of Kofi Kingston. And for some reason, the, the tables were selling more than Kofi Kingston or Randy Orton were, because those two were breaking left and right. Uh, Kofi did put Randy Orton through a table, which of course Kofi Kingston stands tall, so we all know what's going to happen now at Clash of Champions. And the main event of the evening, Chad Gable versus the best in the world, Shane McMahon. Why Shane did this. And it was a quick pin by Gable. Um, he did the German suplex and then rolled him up pretty quick. So I'm like, oh, good. Well, you saw it was a quick match. Kevin Owen, he counted one, two, three, like a ref should. Kevin Owens is the guest referee. So that worked for me. And then Shane changed it to a two out of three falls match. Yeah. We haven't seen this before. Um, Shane gets in, of course, his offense. Shane does have some strength. He had that nice delayed body slam, which I'm impressed with. I don't know if. If if Gable missed a, a, a beat, but it looked it looked good though, so it made Shane look a little bit, bit stronger. Um, Ko then was trying to to be the semi ref, where he's like one. Oh, he's up, making sure that the shoulders were down for sure before he went one. And, of course, Shane McMahon would kick out. And, of course, when Gable was pinned, oh, nope, two count. So he did the fast count. He did what he was supposed to do. Gable just wasn't cooperating. He went. He did the slow counts when Shane was getting pinned. He did the fast counts when Shane was pinning, except for it would be like Gable he kicked out of two. Does that make sense? Um, Gable, he has a – I'll tell you what. That moonsault, I think they're trying to... They must have some standing bet in the, in the backstage area. Who can do the best moonsault? Because I'll tell you what, Gable has a good-looking moonsault. Again, another slow three-count. Shane, um, he did the torture wreck ne neck breaker. I never saw him do that before. That was pretty good. And then Chad Gable locked in the ankle lock. We really sunk it in. Shane tapped. Kevin Owens was like turning around, like like walking away, turned his back. Shane's like, no, let me out. Shane tapped. And Kevin Owens is like, dude, you tapped. I didn't do anything. So again, Chad Gable won the best two out of three falls match. Gable's going on to the King of the Ring final on Raw. That's weird. I don't know. That, that, must, that must be dun 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 dun. A Kevin Dunn fault. I don't know. And then Kale looks confused. It's like, dude, what do you want me to do? So Shane attacks Kevin Owens. So we have a rough bump. And then Shane needs a more gravelier voice so, they can, so that he can say, "You're fired." 
See, Kevin Owens got fired. I don't know. He he tried to rig the ma match the best he could. Shane was the one that was not complying. And that was SmackDown. And that match, it was fun. It was, it was, it was a good cheeseburger match. And that was SmackDown. It's a go-home SmackDown. Um, went by a little bit slower. A lot of recaps, a lot of promos, a lot of build-up for Clash of Champions. The wrestling was good. It was a ham sandwich of a show. That was SmackDown for you. Not bad. Not as quite as good as Raw, but again, they didn't have Stone Cold Steve Austin either, though. Um, I'd like to thank everyone for watching. Uh, I will be up again probably Thursday night, Friday morning-ish for Dr. Tom's Clash of Champions predictions. Everyone have a good night. Bye. Bye, YouTube. And hey, Andy Rose. What was that? I love you too, man. You rose. Wait, what's that? You're sweet. I wish.